Twitter and he had that top on. He was in America. He was going to an American game or something like that. He, he must be going to this next game and he, he's got that top on. So that top must be on sale in America. Oh, really? Yeah. It's that, you know the one that saw Spirograph? The one that uh, Enzo's wearing? Yeah, I don't know if I could wear that either. No, it is nice, but I don't know if I could wear it. It's just a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit groovy, isn't it? It's a youthful <laughs> shirt. Yeah, I think it looked great on a child, but not so much on a an old I'd man. I get it from like my me. grandson. My grandson would wear that. Yeah, look, I think it looks sensational on maybe a ten year old or something. But see that uh, the green one. You maybe have to be stacked like uh, James. Oh, what was I going to say? I went away for a coffee. Who did you decide the captains were used to? Because it was you two who asked the question. Um, well, I, th I think it was Thiago Silva. Was yeah, there. pretty much. For the second, uh, we probably agree it's going to be James, but it could be it could be Chilwell also. Yeah, he or seems Kepa. to be putting a, a marketing campaign forward for it. No, what I would say is, see, when I seen James in the tunnel in the last game, I just thought he had an aura about him, if that's the right word. Sure. Gravitas. You know what I, you know what I mean? Aye, aye. He just, aye, laddie. It, it, it sort of sat well on him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Charisma. He, he's got charisma. He's not going to shout. I don't think he's particularly going to lead to things like that. But I think your captain has to be a fantastic player as well. And he yeah, is. I think, I think when he's back in foot, you know, when he's back to his top form, you know, a good a good uh, captain can lead by example, and Rhys James can definitely do that part of the, of the job. He, he does it with actions, though, I think, Tony. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I, I kind of, listen, I, I said about four or five weeks ago that this season is really important for two players to stay healthy. For Farmer and James, and like three or four days later, for Farmer goes down with a season-ending injury. <laughs> so much for not jinxing anyone. But I really think the same is true about James and Chilwell to a certain extent. These two need to stay out of 38 games, let's say. They, they need to play in virtually every one. With the exception of maybe... Because there's only one a week. With, with the exception of maybe missing two or three, due to the fact that, you know, around Christmas time, the, there is rotation that is required because you're playing three games in seven days. So with that exception, James needs to show that he can stay healthy. A question for you, Tony. Do you think we can loan people out till the next transfer window and then bring them back? Do you think teams are going to buy that or are they wanting them for the whole season? Well, you can get around that. I don't know as much as gain. I don't know as much as gain change for us though. Once we make the you know make the decisions on the squad that we want to keep, unless we do have some drastic injuries, I wouldn't bring anybody back that was, you know, that was performing well at the club that they'd gone to on loan. Make the decisions and and stick to it. And if it's for the best for the for the players, uh, you know, for the players' uh, improvement that they go to a club for a season. I think yeah. Chukwemeka will probably end up going... I think Chukwemeka will end up going on loan for the season. I also think that Lewis Hall could possibly end up going on loan for a season. Yeah. I also think that Humphreys may end up going on loan for a season. No, he's going to be... He, he'll be returned to the development squad, surely. See, the thing is, he's impressed me. He's looked very good, I think. He's he looks looked incredible. He looks yeah. comfortable. So, to me, he looks just as good, if not better. I know it's so short, but better than Chalabar to a certain extent. That's what I think, and I yeah, think that's why I good. think he is better, because he just looks more comfortable. And Especially on the, the ball. He makes the right decisions, and guess what? He can play the ball forward. Chalabar yes. can. I'd like to see him go in the Championship for a season. That's what I mean, Cassidy, but... Yeah, he looked really impressive last season in the in the championship on the matches. I only saw two matches of him, but he looked really good. We scored in one of them. He looked really good. So I think you know it wouldn't it wouldn't do him any harm. I don't think for is he eighteen, Humphreys? I, I don't think know what so. Age is. Yeah, I think he is. Let me check. He's probably nineteen. Uh, I, I didn't know he was that young. Yeah, he's very young. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's very young. Where is he? Humphrey's got him. Bashir Humphreys. He is. Uh, let's have a look. He's 20 years of age, born the 15th of March. 20? Yeah, yeah I thought he was sure younger. But he looks, he looks legitimate. He's actually my pleasant surprise of the pre-season so far. I've, I've had so many surprises, to be honest. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know what would really pee me off is if we do send out for instance, a Hall or a Mutson on loan, and we keep Cucurella and he still sucks. That would really pee me off. Yeah. <laughs> that That's my big fear, that we're going to block all these ballers with Sterling and Cucurella. Development, of, right. Because that's exactly what's happening. Hall's getting, black by, uh, Hall's getting blocked by Cucurella, and, and Noni or people or what's this other boy, Angelo, they're probably getting blocked by Sterling. Do you think Angelo does go out on loan? I think everybody's making a course for uh, for a lot of them going on loan, but I don't know if they will. It depends if we bring players in. I think if we do bring the kudoses and things like that, some of these players may get loaned. But yeah. until until the players come in, and you've got if to remember, it might be another month before MD comes in. And these yeah. boys will get chances. Hypothetically, if we don't add any more people to our team, any acquisitions, where could we end up realistically in the Premier League this time next year? Top seven? Uh, I Thereabouts, want, I'd say. Yeah, I seven, want top eight. five. Top I five think, gets you seven or eight. Champions League. No, but with, with the players with we have currently... Signings. Do you think we could be? What's the highest you think we could realistically attain? I, I think third. Really? Or second? Arsenal are not that fantastic. I don't yeah, know. We need a, we After need a DM, then, though, Mitchy. We need a DM. I think we'd be like you know we'd be missing it. We'd be relying oh, aye, on. Aye. We've got we've got to get the players in. We're, we're yeah. porous. We're very porous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we get we get a DM in. Uh, we're probably going to bring in Kudos or somebody like that. I don't think we're going in for a goalkeeper. But then again, we loan oh, in we'd Slanina. Have to. We would we have loan to. in Slanina. I'm like, uh, there's maybe something going on there. We need a veteran, at the very least, to be a backup or someone that could compete with Kepa. Otherwise, if Kepa goes down, our season's gone. Surely we have to. Yeah, I agree. Well, the thing is, what's the point of having better early if, if we're never going to play him? I, 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 honestly, I've only seen him play twice for Chelsea, and he looked very poor. I mean... It was hard to even recognise that he's a professional goalkeeper. But everybody thought Slonina was the third goalkeeper. He was maybe the one that was going to come in. No, he he, he was he was a, he was either going to have to be the starter or he goes out on loan. When you're that young, you can't be a backup in that position. I'm yeah. talking about. You just can't. You you really halt the development of a player if you don't play them every week for that age group. So if we do get Cassidy from Brighton, where do you think we could be? Could we make top four next year, realistically? Definitely. Look at that team. That's a good, that's a good team. Once yeah, you but... take Sterling out of it and you take Kukure out of it, it's very solid. You've got Caldwell. You've got Badashili to come back. You've got Humphreys, I think, should be in there. You've got James Gusto, you've got Chile Hall. That's assuming these players are healthy. Yeah, and then you've got Cassidy, Santos, Enzo, hopefully Cassedo. Then you've got in Kunku, maybe Mudric, uh, Mudric, Matson, uh, Noni, uh, Jackson. Uh, I, I wouldn't say Brogia. I don't know if Brogia is going to be it. We might bring in that striker, that Wahi guy or somebody like that. I don't know. 
But so yeah. can I ask you a question? Who do you think, for the most part, is going to be our two starting centre backs? Silver Colwell, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think Silver Colwell. Because they both they both play the ball. They're comfortable on the ball and they play the ball forward. What I've noticed for the pre-season is, in fact, also put Bashir Humphreys in that. The, the one that sticks out a bit is, uh, who do you call him? Trev Berese. Trev Berese just passes sideways backwards. He needs to pass forward. I would like to see Badia Shill and Colwell be our future. Both left-footed, oh, yeah. I get it. But I think together they could form a hell of a partnership going forward. See, people, I, I, I've been listening to this all pre-season about Silva, he'll no play, he'll no play. This guy is such a leader. and, and, and He reads the game so well. I, but he, he, he controls the whole back line and stuff like that. We need that. We need, we need that experience and, you know, the know-how. In the when you look at the goal line clearances, what he does in, in matches, he made three games. Launch, yeah. yeah, he's he just knows where to be at the right time, doesn't he? He's, you know, just through experience. I think we had four goal line clearances the whole year, and he made three of them. Yeah, what does that tell? He just reads the game so well. But he also is, needs. God, he also, you know, if he's game, if if he's the the genuine candidate for captain. I think that's another reason why he does need play. But I do appreciate that Corwell and Badashile need also get some games together so that we can try and build. I, I think I know there's no easy game in the Premier League, as they say, but he needs to miss a few of the easy games where, let's say, there's another equivalent of Norwich City, as in a few years ago, where it's a very poor team. I think we need to keep him out of those games. And if we're up by quite a few goals... After 60 or 45 minutes, he needs to come off and be substituted because we can't afford to lose him to an injury, like a hamstring pull or something. Uh, I really believe that. He needs to be used judiciously, in my opinion. And also, we need to develop the players as well. So we can't just play him all the time. We shouldn't be playing him for 90 minutes all the time. No, he can't. You know, um, there was a, there's a study, it's... People over, I think, 30 sustain more injuries past the 60-minute mark. Or is it 70-minute mark? Because of muscle injury, because of their age. And this is why playing Kante constantly past 70 minutes didn't make sense, considering he, he ran so much. Yeah, they kept on keeping him on, though, Roger. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It, you know what? Honestly, I think you have to blame... Well, you have to blame virtually every coach, including the national coach, you know, because he he was overused, in my opinion. And Mickey Mouse games as well. Yeah, it was like, it's... It wasn't poor. even important games, and he was playing them a whole game. The other thing last season as well is, why why was James getting played full games? That was ridiculous. Yeah, poor player management, to be honest with you. Both from Tuchel, who I, I personally think is one of the best coaches Chelsea's ever had. I mean, he... What out of seven cup games, I think he got to six finals or one quarter final. That's incredible. And the one, the cup finals he lost was what two on penalties. I mean, that's yeah. he's a phenomenal that. bloody cup captain, really he, is. He had so much drive, you know, to drive a team. Yeah, and, and I miss. We went, we went for that to a jellyfish. It was a shame. Tactically as well, though, he was astute, wasn't he? You know, it's yeah. his yeah. tactics. Everything. When you listen to his press conferences, you know, especially what we were going through. I mean, turmoil is an understatement. He was the glue, I think, that kept us together. I thought, you know, to me, he'll always be a Chelsea legend in my heart because yeah. just you could tell it was. He was genuine. He wasn't. You know, it wasn't an act at all. He was genuinely... And, you know, w once he was told that he's been fired, he asked to be given more time. Most people don't do that. They just accept it. He really loved being at Chelsea. That, that hurt me, that, when that was said. That, that made me feel bad. Yes, it made me feel very bad also. It was like a gut wrench, wasn't it? Yeah, to, to me, he... Yeah, exactly. 
to me, I, I, I think, for instance, if he, and it's probably going to happen, when he returns as an opposing coach, I think he'll get standing ovation from the Chelsea fans, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't always love managers, but he was the one I loved. I loved Mourinho. I thought he was sensational. But he was, was, but you know what, though? I, I think the, the game passed went him by. Through Marino, eh? The sparkle went out of his eyes, and he, 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 he turned a bit bitter and stuff, didn't he? Do, do you know what it is? Lately, the last three or four jobs he's had, he's actually left the club with which he was hired worse off than when they arrived. Yeah. But yeah. He, he, definitely a great coach for Chelsea, no doubt. Yeah, he when he first came, he had that sparkle. Oh you know, God, yeah, the special that, one. Yeah, yeah, and then when he came back, he <laughs> had what a press conference. Really. Yeah, but he had the sparkle the second time, but he lost it. Yeah, but that press conference he had was one of the yeah. greatest press conferences I've it's ever. It's a bit like Canton. I remember the Canton thing with the seagulls and things like that. Unforgettable <laughs> moments. Kevin Keegan. Yeah, I'd love it. I'd love it. You know, he, these are classic things for the past day. Eh? Yeah, Shank, Keegan, Shank, Shankly talking things like that. Oh yeah, Keegan to me was one of England's greatest ever players. Oh. Did you ever watch the program Superstars, where all the old sportsmen would play different games? They'd play yeah. cycle and yeah. run, and I can't I remember, remember that. Yeah. They did all sports. That guy was super fit. Yeah, my, my my former college coach, she was um, she actually was on the Olympic team in rowing, so. Every occasion she would come to freaking the gym with different like tracksuit tops that she they exchange at the Olympics, like CCCP and so forth. She had a pretty freaking and she was on Superstars, whatever that show was called. So yeah. I actually saw on TV that was a great show back in the day. Anyway, um, but yeah, me so, and Mitchie. Mitchy, yeah, I'm mute. Oh, I muted myself because I was going to sneeze, and I was talking <laughs> a lot of crap there, and you just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Richard Coleman done it. Yeah, that, do you remember I Coleman? didn't know you were to hear me there. That <laughs> yeah, uh, Richard Coleman. Uh, I think it was. Maybe he was in spitting image and all that. Yeah. So, uh, so what do you what do you think about tomorrow's game? Do you think? Do you think we start with a, with an experimental squad or something that resembles what we're going to be starting the season with? I, I think we have to start sticking to the the first team now. But the problem is the players are at different levels of fitness. Yeah, that's your problem. So although he would like to stick to the team and sort of go forward with the team. Enzo needs minutes, uh, for instance. Uh, also, James. You know, you've got different players that have not really played a lot of minutes, so it's a hey, bit of a tough one. Can I ask, what, when do we expect Madueke back? He's he's got a tight hamstring, so I don't know. I don't know what. So the is it day to day, is it day to day or is it? It's just a tightness, so it'll just be precautionary. So uh, I, there's no timeline. This, this there's does no not news. Bode well. A, a hamstring issue is always. That's usually very repetitive. But he's probably just paid a lot of minutes in that uh, under-20s thing. Yeah, that too. But then uh, Colwell and Silva were, were out the last game precautionary. Yes. So... You know what, though? I don't want to... I, I want to see actually Martin play on the right like he did last game. I want to see what he's... You know, because if, God forbid... You know, you have someone like a, a Madueke that is injured. You know, I would, I just don't want to see Sterling anymore. I've given up on him. No, I agree. I would like to see a Mutson. I can't believe I'm saying a left back is going to make a good right winger. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's He's like, not a left back, Roger. He's <laughs> not a left back, this guy. <laughs> That's the thing, is he's so bad. He's so bad. We would take anything. Because yeah. Madueke, wasn't he 100%? You could see there was talent there and stuff, but he didn't pin that position down last season. But we are thinking, oh, get him back in in front of Sterling. But to be honest, Matson looks superb. Yeah, I mean, actually, so, so in my opinion, so does Madueke. I think he's, I think yeah. he's got a bright future. 
So they are, because, I mean, I never watched him at under 20, but I take it he was brilliant in at under 20s. Aye. 